Good evening, everybody. This is a live update as Tropical Storm Ada is getting closer uh, to having impacts in the Florida Keys. I promised that I'd be going live uh, through this evening uh, as this thing approached. And uh, so far, the intensity has been relatively steady state so far today. Not a ton uh, of uh, uh, intensification on approach to the Florida Keys. In fact, the minimum pressure right now is about 993 uh, millibars, which is... Uh, the exact same as it was earlier today after it came off the northern coast of Cuba. Uh, radar, uh, Miami radar is showing winds of about 30 meters per second max out here. So it is still approaching about 60 knots uh, in this northern uh, eye wall, I guess you could call it, here at Tropical Storm Ada. Uh, but right now, maximum sustained winds are at about 60, 65 miles an hour uh, on approach to the northern Keys. And really, these impacts are just now starting to come in to the northern Florida Keys there. Some of these convective bands are looking a little bit stronger uh, just offshore. Those are, are going to be uh, impacting the Miami area, other areas across uh, southeastern Florida. Probably even going to get some stronger winds in many of these outer bands uh, out here. And uh, a couple of these are impacting the Miami area, especially off to the north of Miami. Fort Lauderdale getting some heavy rain squalls coming in here uh, to the north of that. Uh, and just to the south of downtown Miami, uh, out near the radar site, uh, just to the north of Homestead, a uh, decent squall uh, coming in as well. And there is a chance of some water spouts coming in anytime you get a tropical uh, cyclone like this making landfall. There's going to be plenty of wind shear on the northeastern and northern quadrants of that tropical cyclone to still get a tornado threat. But there's not a lot of convection out here, uh, mostly just some heavy rain showers. Uh, that will bring with it some gusty winds. Winds gusting uh, 30, 40 miles an hour here in these outer bands. Uh, gusting up to 60 miles an hour, though, overnight tonight. And especially in the uh, compact inner core of this uh, tropical cyclone. Uh, but really, so far today, uh, the convection has been showing a weakening trend uh, with this tropical cyclone. Uh, and the forecast track looks to be pretty accurate, uh, making a turn off to the west, uh, impacting the Florida Keys. Uh, just talking to Mike Tice uh, here in the no northern Florida Keys. And uh, he was actually nice enough to uh, send me a uh, AsLive. Here's Mike's AsLive. These are his thoughts uh, on this uh, tropical cyclone. Uh, that's live from Isla Mirada there in the northern Florida Keys. And uh, Mike thinks that uh, this storm is not going to be that intense. Definitely not worth a uh, Windy Palms uh, deployment. So there you can see his update, and he's actually trying to get Andrea, uh, his wife, right now uh, to blast off to the north. Uh, they're about expecting their new baby, uh, Jordan Tice, any day now. And uh, he's trying to get Jordan uh, his first uh, intercept, first tropical cyclone intercept to get uh, started off with a bang. And uh, so he's trying to convince her to head a little bit to the north uh, to try to get in the middle of, the, of uh, Tropical Storm Ada before it comes in. But here are the current models, still showing that westward track toward the central Florida Keys now, uh, shifting a little bit northward uh, through the day today. Uh, some of those forecast track, we're, we're even taking uh, Ada a little bit south of the Florida Keys and still anticipating that stalling out uh, to the southwest of the Florida Peninsula and then turning off to the northwest. Some of the models are showing a pretty uh, stout intensification of a uh, Hurricane Ada out there to the west of the Florida Peninsula before turning off to the northeast. But there is quite a bit of cold water as well there right along the uh, immediate Florida coastline. Here are the latest sea surface temperatures across the uh, eastern Gulf of Mexico. And pretty warm water out here uh, in association with the loop current. And that's where Ada is likely going to stall out before making that northeastward turn and uh, heading toward the Tampa area. But you can see that the uh, water temperature has decreased below 27 degrees Celsius along the immediate uh, western shoreline there of Florida. Uh, but they're above 27 degrees C all the way up to the Florida Keys, the southeast coast of Florida, and uh, here across the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. Still plenty warm to support an intensifying hurricane. So it looks like everything is uh, in place for Hurricane Ada to intensify. You've got the Warm uh, uh, sea surface temperatures below at the oceanic heat content above 27 degrees C. You've got a reduction in the wind shear uh, with that uh, negatively tilted upper level low through the Gulf of Mexico, basically carving out a favorable area of reduced wind shear just to the north of that negatively tilted upper level low where Ada is located right now. 
But there is a negative factor, and that's the dry air that is punching in to uh, Tropical Cyclone Eta. And that's, I believe, what has limited the intensification today. And anytime you see this big time dry air uh, coming in at, uh, and uh, impacting a tropical cyclone like this, something that's this close to a tropical cyclone Eta, it's going to have a limiting factor on it. And I'm going to pull up the satellite imagery here. And look at all this dry air. You may remember yesterday that dry air was just kind of knocking on the back door of, of Hurricane Ada. And uh, Hurricane Ada was just in front of it, even in a difluent zone out ahead of this dry air punch, which is associated with this negatively tilted upper level low across the Gulf of Mexico. And look at all that dry air punching from west to east now around the south side of the circulation and the east of it, almost like an occluding tornado when you get the rear flank downdraft wrapping around uh, that tornado vortex, choking it off from the inflow, choking it off from that parent mesocyclone, and then eventually it spins down. Uh, in this case, it's almost like that dry air is behaving like a rear flank downdraft, uh, acting to concentrate the vorticity here to the north of it. So it has kind of carved out a little area of reduced wind shear uh, to the north of this negatively tilted upper level trough axis there through the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, this uh, favorable zone through the southeastern Gulf of Mexico is going to persist through the early and middle portion of next week. And uh, that's when Ada could reach a peak intensity, maybe a Category 1 hurricane, uh, as is still being forecast by the National Hurricane Center. And then it's going to turn northeast with a double landfall potentially in Florida, two landfalls of Tropical Storm Ada, one down to the Florida Keys. Uh, that's going to happen tonight shortly but you could definitely see a reduction overall in the convection here with tropical storm Ada. uh really warming cloud tops out here uh drying environment as well uh, i think that this dry air here that's wrapping around the south and now the east side of that tropical cyclone is doing a number and uh preventing it uh, from reaching hurricane intensity so far this evening still though the minimum pressure is down to 993 millibars on approach to the keys uh radar uh, is showing uh, Miami radar is showing uh, winds in that northern eyewall uh, gusting up to about 28 meters per second. You just basically double that uh, to get knots out there. And I can show you some of these winds using base velocity here on uh, the Radar Omega app as I'm tracking this. And uh, this uh, cyclone, of course, has a good appearance on radar and it looks pretty ominous. Uh, but really, this convection is not very robust. These are just showers here in the uh, I guess you could call it an eye wall uh, of this tropical cyclone, but that's where the strongest winds are to be found. We'll call it an eye wall for this sake, uh, but really it's kind of the inner core of this tropical cyclone. And uh, again, here is the radar site in Miami. And uh, so you are looking just a little bit above the ocean surface as you go further away from that radar site. Uh, but this definitely shows the strongest winds here in the northern portion uh, of that inner core of that hurricane. See if we can get some of these velocities, 26 meters per second, 24 meters per second, 30 meters per second. And uh, these are about 10 to 12,000 feet above the water surface by the time you get out here. But 30 meters a second is pretty close to 60 knots. And uh, not a lot of that wind is mixing all the way down to the ocean surface. But still, 40, 50, 50 60 uh, mile per hour wind gusts are definitely going to uh, potentially happen here across the northern part of the Florida Keys. And that includes where Mike is stationed right now, the HERV headquarters out there in Isla Mirada in the Northern Keys. And here is the official forecast track. And uh, one thing to note is uh, the official Hurricane Center forecast is now uh, predicting Ada is going to remain just below hurricane strength passing uh, over the Keys through the night tonight. And there's definitely going to be some decent winds. Uh, I can use some of the 3D tools on here. These are some pretty fun tools to use when uh, breaking down these hurricanes. But there it is, in all its glory, Tropical Storm Ada uh, approaching some of these outer squalls, starting to reach the northern keys here. Some gustier winds starting to get mixed down to the surface there, probably winds gusting 30, 40 miles an hour. With this outer band, uh, I asked Mike to shoot an as live out here in the Northern Keys. I just showed you his latest as live, but inside this squall, he's going to be reporting live, trying to get inside the centroid of this 
uh, tropical cyclone. And again, that pressure is down to 993 millibars right now. Uh, so, basically steady state. I would say more of a weakening trend, if anything, during the day today. But still, radar showing those winds of about 30 meters a second in the northern part of that inner core. Intensity models largely uh, keep this a strong tropical storm passing through the Keys over the next 36 to 48 hours. But then a couple of these models uh, intensify Ada back into a hurricane. A couple of outliers even have it as a pretty stout hurricane as it stalls to the southwest of Florida before beginning that northeastward turn, maybe impacting the Tampa area somewhere along the west coast of Florida could have impacts, but that won't be until the end of next week out here, probably uh, uh, weakening back into a tropical storm once again as it approaches the Tampa area, maybe to the north of Tampa. That's where the official forecast track uh, is showing that. And you can definitely see some cooler water temperatures up there against the west coast of Florida too, dropping below 27 degrees Celsius. And that should help, help to weaken any intensification uh, trend that happens. Tonight, there is a uh, two to four foot storm surge expected across the Florida Keys and far southern Florida, but that's probably going to be on the high side. And I wouldn't be surprised if the storm surge is just a couple of feet above normal tidal levels down there uh, in the Florida Keys. And there you can see it just churning away, doing that westward turn. It does look like it's coming in a bit further north than the, model, uh, the earlier today models were showing. But really, it just has such a large center of circulation, a really large eye, kind of a ragged eye feature has shown occasionally throughout the day today on satellite. And uh, there's definitely going to be a calm area passing through in the middle of this as well. Looks like we got some new data points here. Still 993 millibars, 65 mile an hour max sustained winds uh, with that northwesterly movement. Still expecting just some slight intensification while passing through the Keys and then becoming a hurricane just to the west of the Dry Tortugas there to the west of Key West by uh, late tomorrow morning before stalling out with the influence of that upper level low subsiding and then uh, initiating a northern northern turn into the weakness of that subtropical high and maybe making landfall as a pretty strong tropical storm once again to the north of Tampa there maybe close to Tampa and some of those models are showing greater intensification out there to the southwest of Florida but there it is coming in I would love to be in the Florida Keys right now uh, with a network of surgeonator sensors deployed we just uh, were able to uh, pull off our full entire data set from Hurricane Zeta. I've been working on that, uh, battling a little bit of these symptoms so far today. Uh, but the latest from the National Hurricane Center now has uh, Ada maintaining below Category 1 hurricane strength as it passes through the Central Florida Keys tonight. Maybe reaching Category 1 hurricane strength to the west of the Keys by tomorrow morning and uh, reaching uh, peaking ma max intensity there just to the north of the western tip of Cuba. And I do think that uh, there's a, a, a chance of a two to three foot storm surge there, especially to the north of that large center. Maybe in a couple of those outer bands too that are coming in. Not a lot of convection though this thing. That's one thing we've noticed over the course of today is a reduction of convection overall. That dry air coming in on the south side of that circulation is likely doing a number on this storm. But still, we've got a hurricane warning in effect out here. Life-threatening storm surge. Winds of 35 to 55 knots. Gust over 75 knots. Big-time seas over 20-foot waves out there offshore in the hurricane warning area. And here it is coming into the northern Keys. Excited to get a as-live report from Mike. I'll show you the one that he sent me already so far today. There he is. This is what Mike thinks about uh, Ada. He was thinking about deploying windy palms today, but it's just not quite strong enough to justify deployment of an anemometer there on a palm tree. Uh, the wind's uh, of about 30 meters a second uh, approaching Mike's location right now. Uh, but there's the latest from the Florida Keys. That's what Mike thinks about Ada coming in there. There you can see those strong easterly winds are about to arrive. Some initial squalls and radar is definitely showing 
uh, 60 mile an hour winds, about 10,000 feet up, just above the uh, ocean surface. And I'm going to be going live throughout this evening as uh, Ada is going to be brushing by the Florida Keys here with a hurricane warning maintained, even though the National Hurricane Center now is uh, showing Ada to remain just below hurricane strength as it's passing by the Florida Keys.